Hey guys, welcome back to Making Magical Adventures. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the magic bands, so stay tuned. So we just picked up our magic bands from the ESPN Center in downtown Disney. Now the plus to this was it was not very crowded at all. However, it is a very small and confined space, so it's a little hard with the stroller. But we got it in hand and we couldn't be more excited, so now we're going to set it up. All right, and there's a battery pack, this. I think people are accidentally throwing this away, so thoroughly inspect your box. And if you do end up throwing that away or you misplace it, they do sell. Sell some behind the counter. Right. So. All right, I don't know how to take it off. Oh, it's this. This is actually, I think, what she's talking about because it's like very hidden. There's that part and then. So this is the charging cable, this right? This is the charging cable. So this is kind of like an Apple Watch almost. Okay. All right, so there's step one. Here you go, Henry. And then. All right, there's our band. We're gonna set it up right now. So an interesting fact about this is this is actually two bands in one. So this is also meant for guests, like kids with smaller wrists. It's actually like, you kind of like push it through and it would, I guess, snap off and then it would be sizable for your child. So now what we're gonna be doing is pairing the um, magic band to our actual Disneyland key. So we're gonna hit, on the top, we're gonna hit add magic band. And then media, you can tap. So we're gonna go ahead and open the scanner. We're gonna tap the um, magic band to the back of the thing. So next up, what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna actually see your name right there. So you're gonna hit link to account. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna link my key in particular. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign it. So how to pair your band, what you're gonna be doing next is you're just gonna go ahead and flip over your magic band. You're gonna go ahead and hold this button right here for three seconds. It'll say pairing in progress. So Bluetooth pairing request, you're gonna go ahead and hit pair. And it just takes a second. Successfully linked. So after that, your magic band will go ahead and be connected to your account. Next, you're gonna hit download and install. And then you're gonna go ahead and wait for the update. So you can see your magic band's actually doing some stuff right now. And just keep them close by together. Yes. So definitely keeping them close by also is what you're gonna to wanna to do. So we're gonna go ahead and wait. It says it could take three minutes. I know Nicole's maybe took about 10, so I don't know, just keep it in mind. You will have to spend just a little bit of time doing this, but process is really simple, really easy to do, so you should be able to figure it out. So the awesome perks of your magic band is this will be your entry key to get into the park. This will also allow you to get into lightning lanes. You'll just easily tap it. It's also available for your photo pass. Now, some of the perks to come is you can use it for payment when you're purchasing food. Um, it will also be available for hotel check-in. And lastly, the last item is um, World of Color or any other shows, your bands will actually sync up to the show. So those are things to look forward in the future, but let's go show you some of the other perks of having the band. So I'm loving this new process that will be here at the Disneyland Resort and implemented for the future. It's just gonna be so awesome. So with that being said, for now guys, as of today, October 19th, it starts for the magic key holders only to pick up the magic bands. And with that being said, a week from now, it's gonna be open to the general public. So anyone coming into Disneyland can be able to pick them up. So if you have a trip planned in the future after next week, maybe the best thing for you guys to do is order one on Shop Disney, get that sent to you, make sure it's a magic band plus. And then what you can do is link everything before you even get here if you wanna use the features for the magic band. That would be our fun tip for this video. So we're here in Tomorrowland. Right behind me is the Starcade, right behind the Star Trader store. So this is another location inside the park where you can buy your magic band. The other location was the ESPN Center in downtown Disney. The nice thing about that is it was really less crowded. Um, it was a more small confined space, so it was just a quick in and out thing. We weren't able to get into this one. I think they closed it off for a little bit, but just keep in mind, if you are inside the park, this is where you can buy your other magic band. And starting next week, there will be some other locations throughout the park where you can buy your magic band. We'll link it down below. So we actually got inside the Starcade. It's 106. It's not too heavily crowded. However, there is tape on the ground for morning entry. I'm sure it was really busy. Um, so just kind of plan accordingly. It's hit or miss, but at least here you got some good AC. <laughs> we made our way over here 
here to the wall. As you can see behind me is all the magic bands. So the cast member did tell us that is actually two per item per guest. So you can get two of each design if you want to, but they are a little bit pricey. So keep that in mind. You can get different ones, one for every day of the week if you wanted. If you see a design you like, make sure you get it. Last thing we're gonna show you is how to use your lightning lane with the Genie Plus. So uh, you do have to purchase Genie Plus. You'll go ahead and go about scheduling your activities for the day. When it comes time to check in, what you will do is you'll walk into the lightning lane aisle and there will be a little kiosk box. You will tap your magic band to the little box there and it will create a vibrating motion on your wrist and then the ring light will start to form and then it'll let you know when you're clear for entry and the cast member as well will let you know when you're good to enter. So that kind of wraps up this video. The last thing we want to talk about is the bounty hunter experience inside of Batu. So in this video, we're not going to be covering that. We will save that for a future video. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, guys, it was so much fun. Magic bands are definitely a plus. So that is the video. Guys, let us know in the comments section down below if you're going to be picking up a magic band here for the Disneyland Resort. And with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Tap the notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.